Whether you have pain in your back or joints, surgery may not be the answer. Instead of the dangers involved in cutting out tissue, consider healing and rejuvenating the area with stem cells, platelet-rich plasma, or prolotherapy. The treatments that are available to professional athletes are now available for you. Watch the videos at jointrehab.com or call the Darrow Wellness Institute at 800-300-9300. 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Welcome back to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. And where are we taking your calls? We're taking our calls right now. Give us a call. Make us happy. Make it fun. Try to, st- try to stump Nita with a joke. Um, phone number here. It's not hard. No. <laughs> the phone number here is 866-870-5752. My voice just cracked, so I'll say it again. 866-870-5752. I guess I must be going through puberty finally, huh? Finally. Yep. 74 years old. It's about time, right? Yeah. Well, you took your time. <laughs> <laughs> Nita, did you, did you study Latin? No. I did. I did four years of it. Puer eternalis. Do you know what that means? Say it again. Puer. That means a boy. Mm-hmm. Eternalis, you can figure that one out, right? Learns. Eternal. Ah, so we are eternal. Well, the boy is eternal, and that eternally a boy, and that's me. I see. Anyway, okay. we were talking about um, giving out my free book, if you call in. It's a book called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. And it'll show you how not to have a surgery and how to heal the area using stem cells or platelets from your blood. And uh, it's a very simple process that I've been doing. My God, I've been doing the regenerative medicine now for over 25 years. I can't believe it. Um, I'm showing a picture of uh, Nick Lamb. He's a world surfing legend. It's in the book. Um, he won the Mavericks contest. If you guys don't know what Mavericks is, you got to go up to Half Moon Bay. It's got waves that are like 60 feet tall. Crazy. My son, Benji, uh, lives there. I'm showing a picture of him right now. There's Benji there on page 15 of my book, which I will give you for free if you call in now. I'll even pay the postage. And this is Benji, who looks like he's a millimeter tall because the wave is so giant. <laughs> Uh, He's got cojones, no question about it. Um, At any rate, I'd love to get your calls right now. And um, if not, I'm going to talk about my knees, which uh, were injured many times from golf and running too much, um, gymnastics, landing hard. Uh, I love sports. I still do them. I'm going to go running right after the show. I live in the mountains, with, and my husky dog, Bella, will be pulling me along. Dakota's kind of out of commission. This is an interesting story. He ripped his uh, ACL, his anterior cruciate ligament, in his posterior hind leg. So we had... Oh, no. Yeah. We had an ACL reconstruction, and since that day, he has gone down the tubes. His, oh, no. Yeah, he can barely walk. He was doing fine, you know... Uh, you know, dogs with, with one leg do fine. They just they just uh, run on three. So he's doing okay, but we decided to try to fix him with the ACL surgery. And he came out bad. He can't bend his knee. And he's just been going down the tubes ever since. He used to run with Bella. I would put their, their leashes together at their neck, their collars together, and they both pull me up and down the mountains. So it'll just be Bella today and Dakota. Sorry, buddy, you got to sit in the house. So I don't like these surgeries, as as everybody who knows me um, knows. I mean, I've been on the white horse of saving people from surgery for more than 25 years. And most people that come to see me don't have to get a surgery. There are a few that decide to do it because they give up too soon. And that's your business. You know, I always tell people, you want to get surgery, go do it. You always have an option of doing it. But if you can get an injection and heal, why not do that? So anyway, back to my knees. I was, um, I don't remember when this was. It was a couple of years ago, I think. And um, it was about this time of the year. 
and it, it had been kind of dark and cloudy for a while, raining. And uh, when the sun came out, it was a nice warm day, and I sprinted as hard as I could. And um, my knee was my knees were a little bit sore, but I didn't pay attention to it. The next day, I sprinted again because it felt so good running with shorts and no shirt on. And then I got home, and my knees were tweaked really badly. So I went to the office, and I looked with an ultrasound. I had um, meniscal tears, medial meniscal tears, and both of them I saw with the ultrasound. And then I saw something else. I saw calcification, which is called pseudogout. And I was very, very disturbed. And um, I did some treatments on my knees that got better. Not completely, but they got better. I put some stem cells in them. And, um, and then a drug rep came over with uh, hyaluronic acid. And um, I thought, well, I'll experiment on myself. I've never done this on myself because it's a lubricant. And uh, I was like, well, why would I do a lubricant when I can actually grow the tissue back? And by the way, when we do platelets or stem cells in the joints, we actually stimulate them to produce hyaluronic acid. So I'm like, why would I ever do that? But I've had patients come in who said they had some luck with it for a while. So I injected my left knee under ultrasound guidance and put the needle right into the joint capsule. And within a few hours, my leg swelled up all the way from my hip <clears throat> down to my foot. I had an allergic reaction to the hyaluronic acid. And so I lavaged it a few times, meaning I put in some saline and took it out, put it in, took it out to clean that stuff out, but it was too late. I ended up on crutches. I could barely walk. It was extremely painful. You guys who have pain, you know what that's like. And then I did some more stem cells on it, finally healed it up after about five months of misery from the hyaluronic acid. My knees are perfect now, and I run every other day, and this is something that you should know about. Anything that you like to do sports-wise as you get older, give it a day break in between. Give it a chance to, to regroup, to heal, and um, doing something the same, the same way every day <clears throat> is not a great way to continue doing it because as we get older, the collagen dries out. As you older folks know, you start shrinking. My dad was about 6'1", when I remember him as a youngster, relatively so. And by the time he died at 90, he shortened up. He was, I don't, I don't remember how tall he was, but uh, I'm guessing he went from about 6'1", down to about 5'10". And um, he was always like, Mark, I'm getting shorter, what's up? And it's just that the, the cushions between the vertebrae, the discs, dry out as we get older. Don't get fooled, though, because if you have degenerative disc disease, that doesn't mean you have pain. Don't get a surgery for that. Be careful. Be very careful about getting a surgery because very often the surgery can make you much worse than you were before the surgery. I had that on my shoulder when I was in medical school, and I paid the price. The good news was I experimented on myself. I injected my own shoulder and was healed the very, very next day. I'm waiting for this caller. If you can give us the name, I will take the call right away and be more interesting. Do, 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 do. <laughs> are you going to sing for us until this call comes up? Is that, is the, that what you The were days of wine and roses. Hey, Mona. You're in Westlake Village. Thank you for treating your sister. Okay, tell me about it, Mona. What's up? This is Dr. Mark Darrow. Oh, yeah. You know, I called in a couple weeks ago, and oh. I had said that my sister's visiting from Michigan, and we really wanted her to uh, come and see you, but she was reluctant to do it because she had um, stem, cell, uh, stem cell therapy before, and it didn't work. Well, anyway, she we called last week, I think, and spoke with you on the phone a couple weeks ago and spoke with you on the phone and you said have her come in and so she actually did go in and see you last week um her name is carla do you are you kidding me nobody you... could ever forget carla she's the cutest human being on the planet <laughs> she's not just not just the, like the brightest eyes but um she's funny <laughs> she does, and she, she is so loving 
She, oh. she just loves going around complimenting my staff and telling me how great I am. And I'm, I'm like, I'm, well, I'm married and you're married, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you're Irish too, right? Um, well, you know, what was funny. My wife was walking by when I was talking to your, your sister, Carla. And I said, Michelle, come on in, say hi. So Michelle came in and the first thing she said when she saw Carla, she says, my God, you've got the most beautiful eyes. Aww. And you probably have yeah. them too, Mona, right? Your sisters. <laughs> well, I don't know. Carla's got very pretty amber eyes, really kind of a unique with that kind of yellow in there. Yeah, it's yeah, really she does. But, um, you know, she's really funny, and I'm so <coughs> glad that she went in there. Uh, and she's doing everything that you said, but I have to tell you something kind of funny. You know, she told me <laughs> that you asked her, you know, she's got to, if she loses weight, that will help her with her hips, which, you know, uh, makes sense. And so she said that she was supposed to get on a scale and weigh herself every day. And she said she couldn't because her legs stand so far apart yeah. because of her condition. And so then she was, so I don't know what to do. And so my husband said, just tell her to get a board and stand on the board and stand on the scale. Or she could get, she could get two that. scales and add it up. <laughs> that's, that's true too. And, she, and then she said, I, hope, I don't want to have to get one of those big things like for meat lockers well she actually te- see i have patients who are overweight text me every morning with their weight and i actually uh-huh. i don't know if carla told you but when she came in i said i refuse to treat you she wanted to get treated right then on the spot and i said i'm not going to oh, do it unless you make an agreement with me to lose weight and she said uh, that she committed to do that because look what's the point of me is. what's the point of me injecting something that um will be beaten up again by the amount of weight. So she made the commitment, right, right. and the next morning um, she she sent in, and she was embarrassed about it, you know, but I said, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. You created, the, you created your situation, and you can recreate your situation the way you want it to be. And I get, we give out a sheet of paper with a ketogenic diet on it, and so she apparently uh-huh. is following that now. And um, Yeah, she is, and... I mean, she's funny because, um, you know, Carla is always really, really active. I mean, even even when she's sore, she's active. Yeah. She's in the pool every day. And, you know, she's one of those people that, you know, struggles more. Um, and so when she told me that she told you, um, yeah, I should lose about 15, 15 pounds. <laughs> Carla, you need to lose more than 15. She said, yeah, he told me that, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's so cute, you know. It's fun to, to yeah. work with her. And I'm so grateful you sent her yeah. in. I appreciate that, Mona. Well, I just wanted to say thank you because I'm glad with my sister, my other sister Linda is here with me too. We're just so glad that she went in and um, hopefully this will, you know, help her because uh, it's been a problem for a while now, as you know. And uh, I hate to see her like this and she could be so much more active yeah. uh, because her personality is extremely Oh, my God. She's got the best personality on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so anyway but we may end up coming eventually because I, I called you about my husband's knees and his um he needs probably stem cell therapy too he's just trying to right now um put he's put something on it that um is supposed to help him with the pain okay but he's a little bit concerned about it because um it's some sort of topical thing and he doesn't want to have anything in the system uh but you know that has any I think it's CBD or, or whatever, but it's not supposed to get into his system. But he, at the same time, you know, his knees do hurt him, and he's just trying to do avoid any surgery. And, uh, you know, we'll probably end up coming at some point and in, in doing this. Okay. Himself. You know, if you so want to, you can just, you, you can know. just, um, you can text me with the name of whatever that cream or whatever it is that he's thinking of putting on his knees. And I'll, I'll look okay. it up and tell okay. you what's in it and whether it's good or bad for him. Okay, perfect. I'll do that. Um, and again, I just want to call and say thank you. Oh, well, God bless you. I really appreciate that, Mona. It's very nice of you to call okay. in. Uh, okay. H- have a great day. It's a beautiful thank sunny you. day here. Thank you. Probably that way there, too. All righty. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Thanks, Here. Mona. Thank you. So if you want to talk to me live, please call the studio right now. If you do, I'm going to send you a free copy of my book, Stem Cell and Plate the Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. It's a couple hundred pages of why you should not have surgery for musculoskeletal conditions generally. I mean, there are surgeries that are needed, 
but I'm just going to say it the way I experience it. 99.9% of the surgeries that are done on the musculoskeletal system, in my humble opinion, should not be done because we can simply inject the area with cells from your body, platelets and stem cells, and heal it up, regrow the tissue. So why take the chance of getting a surgery where tissue is being taken out? You can get infected. You can end up with terrible things when there's an easy, simple, safe way to do it. So uh, give me a call right now at the studio, 866-870-5752. I'll send you a free copy of this book. And um, if you want to watch me doing these procedures, there's videos on my website, www.jointrehab.com. Dot com. Did you remember that <clears throat> your book actually has 264 scientific studies? I love that. It took me five years to put all that stuff together. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm saying that so the listener <clears throat> knows. You know, it amazes me because I have so many patients come to me, new patients, who went to an orthopedic surgeon first who wanted to operate. And when they mentioned that they've read about my work, the orthopedic surgeon says, that's boulder dash. You can't grow tissue back. But you know what? If you read the orthopedic journals, they have studies showing that this stuff works, that regenerative medicine, platelets and stem cells does grow tissue. So who are these guys? Are they in the dark ages? And look, I'm not putting yes. surgeon, I'm not putting them down. Surgeons do the hardest work in medicine. We need them. But when it comes to orthopedics, these meniscal tears, rotator cuff tears, labral tears, and all that are not the answer to healing. How do I know? I had one on my shoulder. It made it worse. And then I healed it myself by injecting myself. So I see it all the time. And look, surgeons, I love you. I wanted to be an orthopedic surgeon until I had the surgery by my boss, an orthopedic surgeon, and it failed. It just miserably failed. I didn't blame him. It just, that's what surgery is. My arm blew up like a frickin' balloon full of fluid, and I had a high fever afterwards. I was terrified. Anyway, it's not a put down on surgeons. I just want to make that clear. It's a put down on the surgeries that, that they do. And many of them are needed, and many of them shouldn't be done. Neither well, your breathing. Think- <laughs> Things move fast, and they're stuck in an old paradigm. It's not their fault. They're only doing what they were trained to do. Well, that's true. That's I mean, I, I have, look, I have good friends who are orthopedic surgeons, tons of them. And we want to kill each other because they <laughs> think that what they do is the only way. And I think that what I do is the only way. So, look, there's more than one way. We're going to go to Bill. to Bill. Yeah, Bill <laughs> from Glendale. Dr. Mark Darrow, your low back bothers you. How long has that bothered you for, Bill? It's been about four or five months now. Uh, thank you for taking my call, Dr. Darrow. Thank Darryl. you for uh, calling in. I had to lift an air conditioner, which isn't real heavy, about 65 pounds, but um, I'm in my late 70s, and uh, it's not like lifting weights where you get underneath it. I had to bend over and lift it wrong. If there had been two of us, I could have got on each one on each side. But, and I picked it up and I had to put it in the window three times. The first two times were to set up the base for it. Okay. And I, I've been the same since. I used to be pretty strong, but um, I really tweaked back. I don't know what I did, but it's really changed my life. Well, <clears throat> let me tell you from my experience, because I'm 74 and you're how old? 70-something? What? Can't hear you. I'm 74 years old. Can you hear that? I just barely could. Okay. How old are you, sir? 77. Okay. So at 77, what happens is your ligaments start to dry out. Your muscles are still strong. And when the muscle contracts, it pulls on the attachments to the bone. And the bones are connected to each other by ligaments. The muscles are connected by way of tendons to bone. And what happens is I'm, I'm extremely strong. And it sounds like you're extremely strong. But the problem is because a lot of the parts of us are starting to dry out, the body can't take the way 
that our muscles work to do things that we used to do when we're like 15 or 20 years old. So we have to be more careful. Um, the fact that yeah. it happened, your back pain happened by you bending over, to me, means that it's the ligaments in the low back, probably the iliolumbar ligament. And you can look that up on Google. And then once you look it up on the upper left-hand corner on Google, there's a little spot that says images. Click on that and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you were in the office, I would draw a picture of it or show you in my book pictures of it. And these are things that are very easy to heal with using your platelets or stem cells to regrow and thicken up those ligaments. In that, Wonderful. In that area, there are also attachments to the pelvis beside the ligaments of the quadratus lumborum muscle. You can look that up, quadratus lumborum and the thoracodorso fascia. There's a lot of action there. So about 80%, about 80 of people <clears throat> at some point in their life have a low back sprain. Unfortunately, too many of them end up getting a surgery for that that makes them worse because surgery is not the answer. You're right. I agree with you. I have way too many patients who come in after a failed back or neck surgery that are much worse off than before the surgery. And Nita, wow. Nita and I had a call a couple years ago that I hate talking about, but I'm going to tell you about it in case you ever think about getting a back surgery. A woman called in crying, asked me what happened. And I said, I don't know. What did the surgeon say? She said, I, she said, I don't know what he said because he didn't say. He, uh, her husband came out of a neck surgery on a ventilator. <clears throat> you know what a ventilator? Oh my God! You know what a ventilator is, Bill? <clears throat> I don't. It's a it's a breathing I machine. He, he woke up and he couldn't breathe. <clears throat> they put him on a ventilator, <clears throat> and I, <clears throat> the woman said she was in the waiting room, and the surgeon came out, <clears throat> and said he did everything right and walked out. <clears throat> Oh, my gosh. Well, the guy died. The guy died a few months later. He went to rehab, and and he finally died. I don't like these surgeries. I'm just saying it the way it is. I'm not saying all of them shouldn't be done, but the ones who come to me are people where they failed. So. Well, the surgeon had an ego problem, too, obviously. Well, I don't know, I don't know about that. You know, everybody's got – we all have issues, right? Yeah. And in my training, I worked with tons of surgeons. There were some good ones. There were some cranky ones. You know, it's like life. You know, people are people. But, um, <coughs> I mean, I have stories I'm not going to tell you on the radio. <laughs> if you want to. No, if, I'm sure you're right. If I, if I called your office number because I wasn't able to write all this down, yeah. my phone is not working too well. Well, you, listen, listen up. The talking? phone number to the office is 800 Three hundred ninety three hundred. I'd love to see you. I need to touch your back to tell you what's going on, and literally, it would take me okay. one minute to let you know if I can help you or not. We're going to the end of the show. God bless you for calling, Bill. Thank you, everybody. I love you. If you want to watch me doing videos and of these procedures of stem cells and platelets, just look at www.la. I'm sorry www.jointrehab.com and if you want to call the office it's 800 300 9300 I love okay, you we're all out. thank you so much you've been listening to Living Pain Free with Dr. Mark Darrow now that you've heard Dr. Darrow you can schedule an appointment to talk with him in person by calling his office anytime at 800 300 9300 that's 800 300 9300 or go online to LASTEMCELLS.COM Again, the website is LASTEMCELLS.COM Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow is heard Saturdays at 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. and Sundays at 5 p.m. right here at AM870, The Answer. Remember, to take the first step toward a pain-free life, call to schedule an appointment at 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Live long, and pain-free. And thanks for joining us today.